Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can resolve the problem of Word experiencing an error when trying to open a file. This problem of Microsoft Word not being able to open a file is a result of the file being modified in transmission, such as the file was encrypted coming over a VPN. So I use a VPN for everything. So when I download a file from a student or from a website, that file is going to be encrypted and then it's going to be de-encrypted when it comes to my machine. That's modifying the file in transit. As such, Microsoft Office programs to include Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are designed not to open files that have been modified in transit. It's a security feature. Now what you're looking at here is a Microsoft KB article, knowledge base article, on how to resolve the issue. Now not everything on here works, but some of it does. This is the error message that you will see when you try to open the file. It doesn't say anything about the file being modified in transit. It just says that there's some other type of issue that's probably causing it. But the problem is the security settings of your Microsoft Office program is stopping it from being opened. So it tells you right here the problem usually occurs when the file was altered by a third-party software during the transmission process. All right, and it tells you that you can right-click on it, you can go to Properties, and then you can unblock it. The next thing you can do is you can go up inside the options of your Word program, and you can accept the location as being safe. And this is a location where you save the file. So any file or any subfolder in that file that is saved to this location that you deem as being safe will be able to be opened. So I have a file that I've downloaded from the internet, and if I try to open it, I'll just double click it. Word starts up, but then I get that dreaded error message. And the help doesn't do anything for you, and none of these suggestions work either. So let's go ahead and close this out, and we'll go back in. We'll right click on the file, we'll go to properties, and we'll choose to unblock the file. Say apply, say OK, and we'll see if this works. So now I'm going to attempt to open the file one more time. And that worked. So that is one trick that you can use, and that is to go into the properties of the file and check that box to unblock it. Now another thing that you can do, and it's up here in the article, we'll go back to it real quick is you can go to your trust center and inside of the trust center you can then tell it to trust the location to where this file is located and that's what I've always done before so let's see how we do that so we're gonna go back into the file we're gonna go ahead and open it and now we'll go to file and we'll go to options from here we'll go to the trust center from here we'll go to the trust center settings and from here, on these settings, we're going to go to Trusted Locations. So if you save that file to a location, then you can browse over to that location, or you can get that location, and you can add it to your trusted locations up inside of your trust center. So just add a new location. You can browse on over to it. For instance, this is my desktop. So I can say, okay, I'm going to say that the desktop is a trusted location. Anything that I put there is believed to be good, and I can trust it, and so can Microsoft Office. Let's go ahead and say okay. If you want to, you can put in a description, and you should check this box here for subfolders of this location are also trusted. Say okay. Say okay. So that's another solution that you have to this dreaded error message of not being able to open a file that has been modified in transit. So that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about fixing a file that will not open because it was modified in transit. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about anything that was covered in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor and I'll see you in my next video.